Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial from LearnEnroute.com and in this series of movies we're talking about the pre-release version of Enroute Fabrication and some of the new tools and features that are going to be in the next release of Enroute General. So, uh, and, and we're continuing our conversation about this whole idea of remnants and, the, and nesting and, and remnants is a, is a great way of being able to track the drops of the material where you might have nested out a job on a piece of material and and not used up the whole thing and you've got a nice usable chunk well with remnants we are now able to keep track of that and use that in the future and and uh, it's it's a great feature so I want to show you how to how this works and I've just got a a few widgets here and then I'm gonna grab those widgets and go to my nesting tool and let's make three copies of each Let's pack them over to the left side of the object of the plate there, click apply, and there we have it. And I had the create remnants checked on, so it created a, a nice remnant for me. And now what I could do is save this as a separate drawing, and normally what I'll do is on a job like this, I'm going to save it as a separate layer. But sort of whatever floats your boat, if you, uh, if you inventory and mark your remnants, you'd want to save the job or create a layer that has the same thing so that you can recall it later. And uh, basically what I'm going to do here is just hit my cut button and I've created another rem plate layer. Let's think this is another job. I need to nest this stuff out. And, but I want to use that drop of material that I've got. So I'm going to right click here and paste that into active layer. Now I could use it like this. It'll The nester's strong enough that it'll nest over into that corner. But this is kind of an odd piece to get on my table, especially since I've already cut away my zero zero. So what am I going to do? I'll just, I'll just rotate this around. Um, Let's see, I'll do, do it by the center point and I'll do a 180 degree rotation so that I've got a nice corner. That looks good, my preview shows up. So now I've got a nice corner to move to or close to the zero zero point. That helps if I close out of that tool first. Um, get this set down here into my zero zero point and now I'm ready to select it and turn it into the plate and I've created the plate now and I can grab my objects here go to my nester and let's see let's try to click apply and there we have it now I've got two odd shaped pieces there probably not worth saving but the remnant tool will create them anyway and and it gives you a another form of control over your production flow now one of the things that hangs people up a little bit is well what if I need a job with multiple layers and and I don't don't want this odd shaped thing. Well, Enroute, they've built into the interface with this new remnant tools. If I go up here and create a new layer, click OK and recycle it, layer 8 now, my new layer, has the original plate size put in it. And another little quick trick that I found while I was experimenting with this is, let's say, you know, I want to stay on this area, uh, stay in this zone, stay on this drawing, let's say. Um, <clears throat> and I don't want to create a new layer. Well, it's it's real easy. You just come in here to your square tool and create a square that's the size of your material. So I just eyeballed that and I've got a square on screen now. I'm going to select that and go to my remnant tool and bada bing, now I've got a square uh, piece of material ready to go and I can nest pieces onto it. So you've got full control. You can use the remnant uh, or you can create yourself a new plate either by drawing a square or simply going to a new layer. As usual, I hope this helps.